Hi there, it's me Danish. Today I am going to be explaining about which are the top important international codes and standards which we are using in oil and gas petrochemical industries of mechanical engineers. Okay, are you ready? Let's go. First one is ASME. This is the most important and widely using. This is not only for this uh, oil and gas, it is widely using many industries. Okay, this ASME means American Society for Mechanical Engineers. This is a wide one. Second, API. This is American Petroleum Institute. Third one, ASTM, American Society for Testing and Materials. And see, American National Standard Institute. AWS, American Welding Society. ASI, American Iron and Steel Industries. 7. MCA Air Movement Control Association NACE National Association of Corrosion Engineers ISO ISO I hope I guess you know that first upon ASME sections section 1 rules and concession of power boilers section 2 for materials in section 2 there is uh, four subdivisions in session A is ferrous materials, B for non-ferrous materials, C for specification of electrodes and filler wire, D for properties. Then session 4, there is no session 3, session 4, rules and construction of heating boilers. Section 5 is NDT, is non-destructive test, is including RT, radiographic testing, PT, penetrant test, MPI, magnetic particle test, and UT ultrasonic test. That's section 6 care and operation of heating boilers. Section 7 care and operation of power boilers. Section 8 rules and construction of pressure cells. Section 9 building and bracing qualification. Okay, now let's see which are the piping cords. ASME piping cords 31.1 powered piping, 31.2 fuel gas piping, 31.3 process piping, 31.4 pipeline transportation system for liquid hydrocarbons and other liquids, 31.5 refrigeration piping, 31.8 gas transmission system for system piping, 31.9 building service piping, 31.11 is a slurry transportation piping. These are the ASME piping cords. Okay, now we can see ASME codes of rotating equipment. 73.1 is horizontal centrifugal pumps, 73.2 vertical centrifugal pumps. These are the rotating equipment coming under ASME. Okay, now we can take a look for API. API have too many codes, but uh, we can't be go all the things. Now we will be explained only for the top important. On AP510 for the pressure vessels. This is for rewriting of the pressure vessels. That means those uh, pressure vessels are under maintenance or uh, under uh, modifications or alternation. So this is not applicable for the new vessels, it's only for the service in service vessels. Second one is 610 for centrifugal pumps. Then this one is for the manufacturing and this all for the manufacturing except 686 all this all for the manufacturing standards 611 for the steam turbines 617 for the axial or radial sorry axial or uh, centrifugal compressors 608 and 609 is a positive displacement compressor 650 is a storage tank 661 is for the fin fan cooler 670 one, four, five, six. These are positive displacement pumps. Six eighty-six is a machinery installation. How we will be install the machineries at the field? This is described. The six eighty-six recommended practice. Six eighty-six. Okay. Now we can go for the rest of the items. Third one is ASTM. It's American Society for Testing and Materials. This are uh, basically for the materials uh, chemical composition. That means uh, we have using uh, many different kind of uh, materials. For example, 
carbon steel, stainless steel, oxygen stainless steel, many many kind of materials. So what is the carbon percentage? What is the molybdenum? Molybdenum? What is the chemical composition? We saw describing on this STM, ASTM, under the ASTM. That is a fourth one is NC, American National Standard Institute. Here we are discussing about the dimension of the materials. For example, some flanges. For example, uh, P sixteen point five. This for the flanges. So for the flanges, what is the uh, dimensions? What is the uh, hole dimensions? What is the uh, size of thickness? Um, what is the uh, bore size? All the things, the dimensional things, all mentioning in the under ANCA standards and standards. Now AWS. This is American Welding Society. Here we have discussed about is all the related to the welding, both arc welding, and gas welding, all the welding we are mentioning here under AWS. This Anand Steel Institute, here AMC Air Movement Control Association. This will be used for the centrifugal fans and the heavy industrial fans. This under here, this for the NACE, uh, NACE for the National Association of uh, Corrosion Engineers. Uh, this will be used for the painting application, how is the corrosion uh, for the cavity protection is all the corrosion uh, controlling methods and uh, technology will be applied for this NACE, under this NACE. This is uh, an ISO, International System Organization. So, uh, we have uh, many uh, instruments and uh, equipment also coming under ISO. This many of many many items is coming under ISO. So we can't be uh, able to describe all the things on this and uh, you can go through my all previous videos it have mentioned about this uh, structure of the industry so you can identify which are the codes is applicable to which area is the field of applications and uh, uh, please don't forget to like share and subscribe i will come for the next videos for more information i will go for more details now all the things just i have only give briefly i just uh, highlight the headings i know that is not in the depth but uh, in the coming videos definitely i will go for the details so this kind of information will be very useful for you guys so please support me through the like share and subscribe right now okay thank you have a nice day